Hi, my name is Tyler Ringy, and I'm one of the owners over here at ProSkill Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot a uh, quick video on how to super cool. Uh, our video in the past was uh, long-winded, I think it was about 40 minutes. It really dove down deep into why super cooling works, the numbers behind super cooling, and uh, the math that you know would ultimately get to uh, dollar savings for the customer, the homeowner. Um, so th this uh, video is going to be short and sweet. I'm going to keep it as brief as possible. Uh, th we're going to go over, you know, what is super cooling, uh, what we need to have to be successful super cooling, how to super cool, and then uh, some things to watch out for. So to, to start off, without further ado, what is super cooling? So super cooling is the okay, process so of overcooling your home during off-peak hours and turning your AC and major appliances off during on-peak hours. Uh, the plan or the APS plan that works for the super cooling is uh, the Super Saver Max plan and uh, the grandfather 12 to 7 time advantage plan for solar homes. So to reiterate, the, the Saver Max and the time advantage plan if you're on solar. Um, so things that we need to talk about Things that we need to address, uh, one of the biggest changes with the new plan, the three to eight uh, 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 Super Saver Max plan, is there's a demand charge. And a lot of people get confused as to what the demand charge is um, and what they're actually you know, paying for. Um, so with the new bill, you have two components. You have your usage, and your usage is billed out at a, a certain uh, dollar per kilowatt hour used, uh, which is a, it's like a pennies. Um, and then you've got your demand charge, which is billed out at $17 per kilowatt hour of demand, or kilowatt of demand. <clears throat> the, uh, the demand is the shortest, or is the highest one hour of usage uh, between 3 and 8 o'clock, 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. for the whole month. So. Uh, that's important because if you mess up one time or you have a high usage, you know, time frame, uh, one time the whole month, it ruins the, the savings or can ruin the savings. Um, that one high hour of usage is multiplied by seventeen dollars, and essentially, you know, if you've got two or three hours, uh, two to three kilowatts of demand, you're doing great. Two to three times seventeen is going to be a very small component of your bill, uh, but if you have eight, nine, ten kilowatts you know, it's going to make up a large component of your bill and, and you're not going to have any savings. Um, so watch out for your demand charge. You need to learn how to keep that down. I'll go over a couple things that we need to do to, to do that later on in the video. Um, so what we need to do or what we need to have uh, in order to be successful supercooling. 